Dio, I'm really happy to have the opportunity to take the floor in front of you today for that European Forum on AI, since we all know how important that digital transition is for Europe. And the question that we have to face today, I mean, the convergence between digital transition and environmental transition is key for the future of Europe. Digital technologies, as we all know, are a tremendous level for innovation, uh, but also for ecological transition. In France, we are betting on putting digital technologies to preserve our environment, to resolve climate issues, and to achieve the convergence of the digital and environmental transitions. The carbon footprint of digital technology is obviously locally growing as the digitalization of our economies and societies are expanding. But we must look beyond that simple analysis. At the massive use, for instance, of video conference has certainly saved millions of journey. Technology helps us in our fight against, cl against climate change. From this point of view, the health crisis has considerably expanded the use of digital and AI technologies in a short amount of time. That being said, obviously too, the challenge of decarbonizing digital technology is all the more acute as our use of technology only grows bigger. Three digital objects shall focus our efforts. Consumer equipment, telecommunications network and data centers. Similarly, with the doubling of the computational capacities required for deep learning each month, the carbon footprint of AI is not negligible. With regard to AI carbon footprint, by the way, we believe in the development of frugal AI that allows algorithms to run with a reduced amount of data, limiting energy and storage capacity requirements. Similarly, embedded AI offers low latency and low power consumption as it is an efficient alternative to cloud infrastructure. Of course, AI needs a very large amount of data and powerful computing capacities to function. But it, is, can, it can also be used for environmental and decarbonation purposes. Indeed, AI provides many concrete solutions to reduce our impact on environment, notably by providing concrete means to control energy consumption optimize the flow of goods or reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. There are many examples. The forecasting capabilities of AI already make it possible to promote the integration of renewable technologies, as demonstrated by the cooperation between Meteo France and the French flagship for company Atos for the innovations of the startup world. Computer vision stimulates precision agriculture, limiting the use of pesticides and or excess fertilizations. Optimization algorithms promote better control of logistic and mobility flows. Finally, analysis of the building stocks enables the energy renovation of buildings to be planned and their consumption to be better controlled. AI thus finds multiple environmental use for industry, for transport, construction, agriculture, ecosystem preservation, circular economy, etc., etc. It also allows us to better anticipate crises, whether environmental or health-related, and thus prepare our adaptation to future, future climate risks. We must therefore accelerate the development and dissemination of these new uses and environmental application of artificial intelligence. Innovation, obviously, in AI requires data. This is why we support the implementation of data lakes in the sectors of agriculture, waste recycling, logistics and mobility, which are and will be decisive for the success of our environmental transition. Beautiful projects such as AgData Hub or AI Cargo are currently co-financed by the state. The sharing and valorization of data in this field could allow the emergence of innovative projects, creating value and be virtuous for the environment. Finally, let's not forget that in global competition, technological and sovereignty issues are being addressed on a European scale. Europe has a rich ecosystem of companies and research players who can take up the challenge of developing an AI at the service of ecological transition. We must continue our effort to understand the environmental footprint of digital technology and develop research and development to reduce it.
This is both a technological and climatic challenge, but also a competitive one. In the international digital battle, the most virtuous company will be able to stand out. I believe that French and European companies have a card to play in this technolog technological field. Thank you very much.